Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another tumbler tutorial. Um, this one is going to be a super fun watermelon tumbler. So as you can see right here, I am just spray painting my base coat. These are not my favorite spray paints to use, but I did have red and green on hand, so I just wanted to go ahead and use them up. Um, I get a little impatient when it comes to spray painting and sometimes I overspray and end up with a few drips and runs, but that's really not going to matter. So um, you might ask, why are you spray painting if you're covering it all up? Well, the base coat helps to intensify the glitter colors. Um, you'll see right here, I am adding a coat of epoxy. I'm using Mr. Nola's glass coat, which I am absolutely in love with and I'm applying a fairly thin layer and just smoothing it all out and kind of letting it turn for a little bit to level out. Okay, and so the glitter that I'm gonna be using here is from Michaels. It's the Recollections brand. Um, the red is cherry red and the green i don't know the name of it it's just a neon green i guess it came in a little carousel of neons and so i'm you know like i said the base coat of spray paint kind of intensifies the glitter as you can see it looks much darker now um, i then printed off some watermelon seeds or cut them out with my cricut and i only applied about half of what i cut out then i did a quick clear coat over all of that, let that dry, and then applied a second coat of the Mr. Nola's clear coat. And next I'm going to be using the Queen of Hearts by Maker Flow. This is a holographic mix. It is so incredibly sparkly. And I'm just going to be um, sporadically kind of sprinkling that around on top of my red glitter and over the watermelon seeds. It's not going to be a full coverage, it's just going to kind of be a little highlights. Next, I mixed up um, some green mica powder with my epoxy and did little streaks through there. Um, just because, you know, when you're looking at a watermelon, it has different variations of green. Okay, and then I'm using my heat gun, as you can see, just to pop out the very few bubbles that were in there and I'm mostly using it to kind of shift that mica powder, the green mica powder around to kind of move those little streaks around a little bit. See there, you can see the different variation in the greens now. And then I decided, ah, it still needs a little bit more. So I added some gold to that green I had mixed up and that really gave me the effect that I was going for. And again, using the heat gun to just kind of shift that mica powder, mica swirls around. And then I mixed up some white diamond mica with my um, Mr. Nola's glass coat and applied white streaks throughout the red part only. Okay, and so after I used my heat gun to kind of shift those white streaks around and that layer of epoxy was dry, then I added the remainder of my watermelon seeds and another layer of Mr. Nola's glass coat. And during that layer, I sprinkled a few more of the Queen of Hearts holographic glitter on there and it dried so beautifully. And then I finished it off with one last coat of Mr. Nola's and look at this guys look how sparkly and shiny this is I just am so ready for summertime now thanks again for watching and be sure to check the description below for all the product links and links to my other tumblr tutorials and don't forget to like subscribe and ring that bell